have uh, plenty of soldiers in our place because uh, we have a. Uh, show to me you see this yellow sign that tells uh, the speed limit is 60 yes. and if you drive uh, 70 you're gonna pay you're gonna let uh, you're gonna pay you're gonna pay uh, seven dollars oh, I see there's video right up there yes of course yes of course and they send a picture of that to you yes uh, uh, the they regularly enough I get letters from police uh, telling me to pay the fine because I didn't see the, the video camera if you drive like limit is 60 and you drive a hundred that it will be 15 one five 15 dollars uh, money fine it's a village named Jarovich oh it's a village okay uh, nice Jarovich 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 don't ask me what it means <laughs> what's the population of this village maybe 1000 2000 uh, no more than 2000 people oh okay but the place is famous you're gonna see buses with tourists uh, we are not the only one interested you will see it in a second okay the zoo is run by the church wow the so owner is the church okay so this is the church yes this is uh, there they have a lot of horses i have seen they they like uh, uh, they are busy with agriculture to finance their activity because they have some expenses they need money to to run this uh, monastery this uh, huge and, complex and if you want to be a priest this is where you study yes yes you you can if you like orthodox church and you want to have a diploma from orthodox church you come here to study and you get it uh, they have a, I don't know how to, to translate, uh, mm, uh, the school for the preachers, right. preacher school. So it's we're gonna park and nice make a building. couple of uh, videos from from uh, from the distance. So everybody who comes to Slonim, to me personally, I take those people to see the uh, Jirovici church and the monastery and all this complex. This is a very right significant the significant place for the if you are Christian Orthodox and this is the original building it was not fortunately destroyed it was not in the middle of the fighting and uh, the oldest building of this complex is uh, 500 years old so the persons of signif significance for the Orthodox Church regular come here to visit to pay their respects uh, we have also cemetery with some interesting graves I don't know if we will be able to see them to today maybe no but you see not one church you see a couple of them mm -hmm. and also you can study i don't know where it is exactly because i wasn't studying there maybe in that building with a green mm -hmm. uh, roof so uh, bus full bus buses full of tourists come here maybe you one day you will be one of them who is coming here by the bus or by the car it will be like 10 kilometers from slonim if you drive from Brest to Minsk, you can make a little bit uh, extra and you'll be here to see the things. They are beautiful. The video camera cannot uh, express and show you the beauty of that building and the, the, the mass of it, because it's very massive. The walls are that. My shots, my, my, my hands <laughs> cannot show you how thick the walls of this uh, monastery is. And keep in mind, 500 years ago, they were able to construct a good uh, thing. So this is your son, Vladi? So this is my son, Vladislav. Uh, he is 17, sweet 17. So this is the school where he studies in Zirovici. And um, say hello to the hello. To subscribers. Hello, Vladi. How are you? Not, not this Cut. hand. Oh, okay. okay. Do you speak English? No. Answer in English. Do you speak English? <laughs> He's no. shy. No, you don't I speak know. English? <laughs> my English is bad. Your yeah. English is bad. Well, my Russian is bad. So. Oh, no, yes. So okay. let's make a couple of steps inside of this okay. monastery. Oh, it's not me. You put it out, son. Okay. All right. So we're here's the Orthodox Church. Is this the original or is this a replica? Original, original. original. The most important building and the biggest are original. They have a, a couple of 
new houses, not replicas, but new houses, which do not pretend to be uh, original. But this building, or maybe uh, next one, is 500 years old. They have survived the war, the two wars, two yeah, wars. Two war, world wars, yeah. Well, so where's the entrance? This is the entrance, oh, this the, is a little gate. Let's try to go in a little bit. Okay. Our respect. Forward, forward. Right. Ah, we're inside now. Oh, is this? Uh... This is where people like make it. If you see, you. This is where they. You make a wish. You ask, oh, please, uh, well, pray for my brother. He's sick. Oh. You, you you write it on the paper. Okay. You give a little money. Oh, I see. Oh. Let's walk before we before we stop. <laughs> it's a popular place for, uh, as I say, just uh, I can only repeat. They have also some uh, graves of um, some importance to the mm -hmm. Orthodox culture. You find them. Uh, further, a hundred meters further, you see? Mm -hmm. And somewhere also, if you want to be a preacher, orthodox preacher, you will be studying in this place. Please come, we wait for you. What do they call it, a monastery maybe? A uh, monastery, yes, a monastery. monastery. So this is the place where you can buy uh, icons, icons. Uh, this souvenirs? Is, yeah, I icons and souvenirs. This is um, uh, something for food, food, like mm. canteen or oh, restaurant. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Yes, yes. Let's walk further. Okay. Let's walk further. You see, something is under restoration. I promise you, you'll see a lot of construction workers. Mm -hmm. This is expensive, so somebody is paying money for this. Mm -hmm. A lot of money to make it beautiful for you. Wow. These buildings are simply new. These, mm -hmm. these are not replicas, but simply new. This is a restaurant, a good one. Okay. And you're going to see another facility for... Let's walk. Let's mm -hmm. just walk another facility for many people to take food uh, at the same time because if they have many tourists who come at the same time mm -hmm. they need to feed them and those tourists eat here the place oh. is apparently under reconstruction but it's like an open for well, summer a lot of long long tables long tables tables, tables outside here probably not not outside inside no. but oh, inside. the place is open for the wheels it's not uh, for for the winter but inside of these long tables, you sit and eat. Hmm. Uh, the food is very nice. Look it's at the bells. Yes, oh yes, it deserves attention. Yeah. We, we have something similar in Philadelphia called the Liberty yes. Bell. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm afraid to bell it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe those, are, those are big bells. Yes. Wow. Well, let's walk up. Uh, we're going to see some interesting graves. We, okay. Okay. Too many graves in Slonim. Too many graves. Too many graves for one day. Yeah. German graves, Jewish graves, Russian graves. Too many graves. But this is our history. Yeah. Well, there's graves all over the world. Yes. Everyone dies. Yes. Some people die earlier than they want. Yes. Uh -huh. The name is Chris. So what this is here? Ah, uh, so, so you see that Jesus Christ was crucified and uh, the name of the church is uh, like uh, to, to glorify this moment, like in the history, not, mm -hmm. not, not that it's a good thing, but the, uh, the moment when the crest was erected. Mm. So I don't know how to say it. This is uh, the date and the date is 1769. 1769. So it makes it around 400 years. Wow. This is a uh, Russian language which is not lo no longer used. So out of date Russian language, and this is why it's difficult for me to translate. Oh, it's a little bit. It's different Russian language. Uh, 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 Russian language was different 300 years ago. Oh, yes. I did not know so, that. Uh, kind of different. So you would have a different grammar. So. Some words difficult to translate, even for me now, 300 years later. Uh, because you see them on the gravestones, on the churches. So we're gonna see a couple of graves, uh, which may be interesting for tourists, because mm. some people are keen on history. Mm. These are important people. Oh, look at this. 
So you can see it was built here not for nothing. You have a wonderful view. I maybe it's five, six kilometers view standing from here. And also we are visible from many, many kilometers away. Mm -hmm. And this church is one of the most visible places. Wow. You see the dates of the graves? Mm -hmm. So this is a grave, um, um, many hundreds of Christians. 1901. Maybe, maybe they were uh, reburied. I don't know why so many in my grave. All this. So this is yes, just this recent. Is and this is a reburial. This is 2022. Yes, yes, ago. yes. Important people get buried here still. They still get buried here. Four years ago. 2020, maybe coronavirus, who knows? Uh, as you oh. can see. That's a child toddler yes. that, that passed away. Yes. 1897 yes, and 1901. Yes. 13 year old grave. Yes, yes. This looks like an old one. Yeah, this is an old one. 1890, oh, this 1889. Grave is 120 years old. Well, this one here is about 176 yes. years old. Yes. You know what's the what's the bigger grave here? The biggest grave. A recent one, twenty one. Oh wow, maybe recent. from maybe from the coronavirus. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Wow. Well, he he lived about eighty six years old. Yes. Okay. It was his time. Yeah. Wow. Have holy water? So it's written, holy water. Okay. Holy water. Excuse me, I'm gonna have some. Yeah, I'm gonna have some too. Not bad. Akroshka. Not bad. We have a cup here. Oh. Wikipedia uh, says that uh, this this city started in 1036, but uh, it's really 1256. So I don't know why there's conflict. Maybe you can shed some light. Uh, I know what to do. What we need to do, we need to examine diplomas of those scientists. <laughs> Maybe they deserve extra attention before they tell us something about Slonim and other places. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so straight ahead we have a German grave site. Military cemetery. Military cemetery. How many soldiers do you believe? A uh, couple are of hundreds if you follow me. Uh, this is a gravestone in fact. So if you take away this uh, thing, you can read, you will be able to read uh, the date. It's normally 1914, 1916. So uh, World War One. Yeah, World War One. Uh, uh, you see the, those, st those stones, they are covered with grass right now, but they were better visible a couple of years mm -hmm. ago. You see this uh, cemetery, the grass is cut, someone maintains it. Mm -hmm. I don't know who, is it the city administration? There's or another it, maybe, grave. Yes, yes, there are many, a couple of hundreds of wow. them. They also have a mass grave in the hook. That big uh, stone is a mass grave because on some day they had so many dead soldiers that they had to use a mass grave. Mm. And this is the words they are willing to say to the future generation. Oh, so. Someone is giving money for maintenance. Is it a German ambassador or is it a local authorities? So German words say here uh, find the final rest soldiers uh, who are fell victims of the world war number one and this is russian language mm, yeah okay a lot of history so the place for this cemetery was chosen not for nothing there is a reason why because we have a wonderful view take a look 
you have a view of the whole city. So the idea was that those who come to visit this uh, cemetery have a nice view, so the dead. So, and also what you have here on this uh, hill, and we have a hill here, these are authentic trenches from the World War I, because the gun in, during the World War I, the cannon, was standing here in this excavation. So this is the yes, place this, for the cannon. This is, this is the place for the cannon, and the trenches, uh, you see them 110 years later, but they are still visible if you watch this excavation. It, lo it goes from this place further, 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 further. Okay. So you don't know if it was German soldiers? I can't or, uh, yeah. declare if it was a German or a Russian. But this was the defended. trench. Wow. It's amazing that it's still... 110 years later. Yeah, just a little bit of grass growing over. Oh, yes. So this is a view of the Slonim. We have seen already this blue roof. You see blue roof? This is your hotel where you stay tonight. Oh, okay. Green roof, we, are drive we were driving by. Mm. You see, this is the very center. All right. Okay, so this is the site of the execution of the Jews. This is a war crime, military war crime site. And how many Jews were executed? And that is a very interesting question. Maybe 10,000, maybe 30,000. In order to know the certain answer, we know we have to bur open the burial and count the bodies. You see, so the interesting and memorable, remarkable thing about it, that they this place has not one memorial, but two. One is Soviet, and Soviet memorial claims there are 30,000 of Soviet, uh, they don't even say Jews, and I think it's correct. It's just a civil population that, that was executed. Mm. They claim 30,000. And there is another uh, monument that you're, gonna sh you're going to see. This is a, a Jewish uh, monument. It was uh, constructed later in the years 90s. And uh, if you read this monument, you're going to see 10,000 dead bodies oh. in this place. So what is the right answer? Anyway, 10,000, 30,000, this is horrible. Imagine Absolutely. how horrible it was to be executed with your wife, your children dying together in one day with you. There were long, long excavation, not one, but many of them. And the dead bodies were thrown to this uh, excavation. So they're, they're in this All field this here. This field is empty because we are standing on the dead bodies right now. Mm. These are the very Jews uh, from that ghetto that we have seen a couple of minutes ago. If you remember this sign, uh, so the Jews from Slonim ghetto were led by the feet uh, in columns under surveillance. They were brought here and executed. Now let's see the date, exact date. Mm -hmm. Probably Soviet, uh, Soviet era. It's in Russian only, and you see the big number thirty thousand. Yes, this I is see. What they claim? Well, this one says ten thousand. Yes, yes. This is claims ten thousand. But the plaque behind says thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. In order, we don't know the exact answer. Yeah, maybe it's twenty. Somewhere in between. And then uh, beyond there, that that this, cemetery just opened up in 2010? Yes, it's the 12 years ago, the city administration was looking for the place where to open a new city cemetery. Because as I, I told you, we have 900 uh, people dead every year. So we need 900 places. Go uh, the old cemetery was too small. And they decided for a reason, okay, let's open it here. It's You see, if you bury it here, come to be buried in Belarus. Mm. You're going to have a two square meters, forest around, very picturesque, very fresh air, no crematorium in Slonim. Do you want to go over there? We can take a look at the yeah, people's graves. Just, I just want to uh, do some footage over there. Okay, so it's a uh, bathroom break. And I just thought I'd show you guys. This is at the cemetery. So if you come in here, there's just a hole hole in the ground and a bucket oh the bucket's just trash I thought that was interesting okay so this cemetery uh, and you won. Be began in 2010 and so it's 2024 now so it's been 14 years and I just want to show you how many people have passed away 
and 14 years. I don't know how many people that are here, but probably 700 times 14, right? So that's all since 2010. And it goes way over there as well. Wow. Hmm. All right, let's go check out a couple grave sites. So I just did the numbers. Andre said 700 a year pass away. So you see the year of this time 20, 2015, and yeah. that is the beginning. Uh, the very beginning is going to be further. Oh yeah, yeah. So I think there's between eight and ten thousand people that are in this uh, cemetery, and it began in 2010. So what do we got here? We got uh, Panka. Coco, that's her husband, uh -huh. and that's his wife died three years later and buried next to husband. Wow. Nice, nice. So wow. this is an army officer, as you see, his mm -hmm. medal. Mm -hmm. 2015 is dead. Yeah, and it, it, it looks like uh, 2010 started back there and then yes, just kind of yes, worked yes, itself it's up. The oldest uh, grave is somewhere in that corner. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. So are these for sale? Uh, you can buy it. You see, nobody seems to live there. There is a hand lock. It's vacant. You, there is a hand lock on the door. Uh, if if this is not for sale, then neighbor house is for sale. Because the owners know that uh, if if they miss the buyer, they will never find another. You see? <laughs> yeah. So uh, this village has asphalt road, so it's not the worst one. This is uh, inhabited. People live here, yeah. it's not for sale. This is not, not the most forgotten village because we have asphalt road. So how much would that dodge cost? Uh, if it's in good condition, it can cost 5,000, in good condition. Uh, because the location is good, tourists come here, asphalt road, uh, well. But I will show you later houses which are for, for $100, wow. basically say. This is inhabited. It looks great, but if you look at the grass. Oh, you see, this is for sale. Oh. Pick up the number, and you know exactly the price. Okay, I got it. Oh. Uh, wow, they have this. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the tourists it? come for the holy water. We have a oh, holy it's water because that's like an area yes. for tourists to park. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, there is a brook. Brook. Do you understand brook? brook. The, the stream, the water coming out it's of the It's a small creek. Yeah. Yes, and it's, it contains, of course, holy water. So if you drink it, you're going to live a hundred years. So you need to call to this number, to this telephone number. <laughs> this is historical. I don't know. Yeah. You see, I think they are going to restore this. And this is... But it's something out of the wild, wild west. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. And this is the church that you are seeing. And by the way, the communist has constructed this cow house. This I can, I can smell you the cow patties. You can smell it, you can smell yeah. it. But you see the house is 500 years, the church is 500 years old. And this uh, um, facility for the cows is uh, much younger. So the communists never cared about the smell. Uh, so they decided to... Uh, wow. uh, I don't know why they haven't. They should have chosen a different place for yeah. this cow facility. Right next to a church. Uh, yes, yes, because it's it is maybe 50 years old, maybe 40 years old. But now, now how old is this church? Uh, we're gonna find out, but many hundred years old, wow. and it's original, not a replica. It has no bullet holes. Nobody was shelling it. It's very beautiful. It's just for pictures. And it's working. People come here. I think that the the preacher here deals. Oh, it's open. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enter it. Okay. You're gonna enter it. Awesome. The preacher of this church works with alcoholics. So now there is a facility, <laughs> and the preacher treats sick people dependent on alcohol. Try to persuade them to do to to stop to do this. All right. Okay. of 15th century you see beginning of 15th is 1400 and yep, something yep wow that's that's uh, about 600 years old uh, yes 
And regardless of that, they put a facility for cows stinking 40 years ago. They should have thought twice. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I bring all of my guests and visitors here. You see how beautiful it is? Oh yeah, it's very impressive. Looks like there used to be windows or something that they... Yes, they were preparing for fighting in case. Oh. So they they present this church as a, a half church, half castle to, for fighting, you see? Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's walk around first. Mm -hmm. They got chambers, like some holes, maybe for ventilation. I don't know, but you got, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. 360 degrees. Yeah. You can walk around at every hook, every corner is beautiful. And what is this a... Uh, uh, it's a burial place and someone who's died in 1872. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, so that's a uh, woman who, who is buried. Uh, probably Yaman... Uh, there's a woman whose name is Nadezhda Fyodorovna Mikhailovskaya. Mm -hmm. Nadezhda Fyodorovna Mikhailovskaya. She has died probably, she was 18 years old. Wow. Her parents loved her that much that they have given to her. Almost 150 years ago. Yes, yes, yes. And the language is a Rus old Russian language. You see this letter, mm -hmm. this which abolished in Russian alphabet. In, in 1917, they have abolished this letter from the alphabet. How do you pronounce that alpha, that letter? Uh, that's uh, the letter which... Um, not Z. Uh, no, this letter means the, it's not soft. It, it, this letter influences the pronunciation of this one on itself. Oh, okay. So this, uh, this is a mark. Okay. Это так называемый твердый знак. Твердый знак. Oh, okay. Раньше, хорошо, когда в русском языке говорят, в сегодняшнем, современном русском языке говорят, and if I say the word soldat, t, t, soldat t, I don't make it so soft. Soldat t and сделать t. You see the difference? Yeah. So uh, it's, it shows also, once again, this, this letter is an old Russian language. So this is how we know that it's written be before 1917 if you see this letter on this oh with the little it's, so it's like yeah right here the little thing here yes yes yeah, yes i see so it's it's hard it's hard pronunciation at the end hmm. not not simon ni but simon n simon n mm -hmm. so uh, 1893 the, the, the cross is gone unfortunately oh yeah i can see yeah yeah Okay, we have some more grave sites here. So, this so is, 600 uh, years? Uh, 600 years to the beginning. Uh, I don't know how to say the word. Well, as, a, as a officially opening, official opening of the op official opening of this uh, church uh, was 600 years ago. So, like a 600 year anniversary. Yes, six year anniversary of official beginning of his operations. We can walk. Okay. Continue. I think the cross is gone also over there. Yeah. It can't be that. Uh, yeah, they. There's another one. I wish I could go up to this uh, tower, but uh, I don't know who to ask. Mm. Um, I don't know who to ask. So, for the background of the picture, it's very nice. I have a number of pictures in my album from here. You see, someone is living here. See? Oh my God! It's like someone a beehive. Is living here. It's a beehive. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from that. <laughs> Let's 
try to make a couple of steps inside. Maybe you will not be chasing so fast. All right, let's see. So this is official name for those who is interested. Mm. Holy Mikhail uh, Church. Holy Mikhail Church. All right. You can watch it, but without uh, no. filming. Okay. okay so, uh, Andre, where are we going next? So now we are going to see the new district in Slonim. The Slonim is growing, the construction is uh, very active. Uh, every year they uh, construct uh, three, four, five big apartment blocks, uh, maybe 200, 300 apartments in, in, uh, in total. So uh, you're gonna see new houses, beautiful uh, places, uh, uh, kinder kindergarten, new kindergarten, facility for children. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so I am the one who got a free apartment from the state. That was four years ago. And why has it happened? because I have become the father of the third child and once you have uh, three children in Belarus you are entitled, virtually entitled to the free apartment from the state initially the idea was that I pay 10% of the market value but then I had uh, the child number four mm -hmm. and uh, that, that You're means a busy man. The, the last 10% that I had to pay uh, they have uh, abolished it. They told, okay, you will not pay nothing. So I got a free apartment. How many uh, bedrooms? Uh, two bedrooms, uh, 50 square meters, 53 square meters. Uh, and I, I spent $5,000 to furnish it. It was already with a wallpaper, with a toilet, but I had to buy the furniture. The furniture cost me $5,000. I was counting. counting. Well, that was four years ago, but we're gonna see the new ones, those who, uh, those who uh, are under construction or th those who were uh, uh, ready uh, this year. Because this year, a couple of months ago, there was a new house uh, given to the multi-child families, let's say it this way. So uh, it's not only free apartments, there are also some uh, people who can buy it, you can buy it, and the price I remember is twenty-seven thousand dollars if you buy it for your own money. Wow! So how much would these apartments be? Uh, maybe twenty, twenty-five thousand, maybe thirty. I don't think they are thirty. Maybe some owner loves his apartment and he doesn't want to give it away for no price. So most apartments in in the center are right around twenty, twenty-five thousand. Oh well, twenty-five, thirty thousand, and this is a swimming pool, new one. The name is like the name of your hotel, Shara. This is swimming pool and water park, Shara. Uh, I, I, nobody has been there other than construction workers because it's not, uh, okay, we are not walking out maybe. If, uh, it's under construction. Nobody ha was swimming here, but it's new. It's going to be open this year or maybe next year. So come to Slonim to visit our water park. Nobody saw that. You're going to see it first. Uh, this year and the uh, new residents came here to, came to live here this year so if you have three or four children you get it for free if you uh, have one or two children you pay uh, a fraction of the price is maybe the half and it is in it's uh, there is a, a state subsidy state subsidy wow. of course if you are a foreigner and you not entitled to any of the social benefits like a foreigner you can come and buy it from the producer, uh, it will be like 27000 for one apartment. So if you have three or more children, yes. the state gives you a apartment, free apartment. Free apartment, yes. It's easier in the province, in Minsk, it will be difficult because the price of Minsk apartment is higher. So you, get a, you can get a free apartment in Minsk, but there are uh, different rules which make it more difficult. If you live in a province, in a little city like uh, Slonim, and they plant all of the trees, 
all of the trees that you can see will be under construction in a couple of years. They plan a big district of the city here. Wow. Many hundreds of these houses. So this is where the city is growing. Yes, this out, is where the city out, is going. Out this way. Uh, I don't know about this way, but anything from the from oh, your okay. right hand will be there will be 20, 30, 50 houses like this one. Okay. 20, 20. Okay, so we're coming up on your apartment that yes, you got for that free I got from the state. Free from the state in 2020. I can show you the paper, this yellow bright building, this the highest, uh, the yeah. ninth floor, it consists of ninth floor and like my that. floor is the highest. I was how like, many square meters? Uh, 53 square meters, uh, 27,000 uh, construction price, uh, free for me. And how many bedrooms? Uh, well, two rooms, we don't separate it, room, bedroom, or just it's just uh, two rooms. Both of them are bedrooms, a kitchen, a bathroom. Uh, it's, think if you are very curious we can go inside because now my former life is li wife is living there oh. I live in a house and my former wife lives so you had here. three you had three children four, where did, four, four children and where did they where did they sleep uh, two children live there and two children live with me oh okay if you want to come closer let's come closer okay okay oh. let's come closer uh, so then well, when you got the free apartment yes were all four children living under the same uh, roof? Um, when I got the, this apartment, I had three children, yes. Right. The, uh, the child number four was born uh, one year later, and that gave me the possibility not to pay this 10%, the, oh. the rest of 10%. All right. This is my apartment somewhere up. You're gonna see, probably, probably you're gonna see many children, but if you want to see many children, you're gonna, you'll have to come at uh, one hour later, after they come from the school. I would imagine there's a lot of children uh, here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is an um, interesting place. And how many square meters? Was it 50? Uh, the, the, my the, apartment is 53 square meters. Okay. There are apartments bigger if you have more children or if you are ready to pay your own money. And this big parking is a must-have in our place. So you see many cars, but there is always place. The parking is not overloaded. Uh, normally we have here 20, 30 children playing and this They're uh, not all from school yet. Yes, w once they are back from school. And I think we can come here tomorrow just for children, mm -hmm. just for children to see how many are there. Because tomorrow will be Saturday, nobody is school. If the weather is nice, there will be... So at least three children per apartment. Um, I was told, next thing, I was told like, uh, you have uh, in this very building 172 apartments from which 80 uh, was given for free because the family has three children or they were not exactly for free 10% uh, of the market value yes yeah. for me for free because I have a four for, wow. because I have four I had a fourth child born and the rest uh, paid more than 10%. Or so maybe, probably four or five hundred children just live in this building. Yes, I have counted that around four, 400 children under the age of 18. Wow. I have counted. And you see this in the evening, if the weather is nice, you see how many children playing here. I think maybe tomorrow you can try to come here. Maybe so, if you're lucky, you're going to see. So uh, Belarusians are having babies here in Slo uh, Slovenia. You see, I told you the the Slonim city uh, has a, a birth rate under the death rate. Yeah. So 900 are bo uh, dead, 700 born. Right. So there are not so many ch uh, families with uh, uh, three and four children. I can tell you more about social benefits, uh, how much you get as a parent of three or four children from the state, what you pay, because this is my life, I do it every uh, day. So this is how it goes, because maybe some strangers and foreigners from abroad, they don't believe it. They, they think, oh, free apartments, this is only for, for KGB, uh, <laughs> uh, um, for police officers. No, you are just a normal person. You work as, as a nurse in, uh, in the hospital or as a cleaner somewhere, the most important. There are, of course, conditions. I had to present some papers from the tax inspections that I pay taxes in Belarus, that I have a permanent place of work, and so does my wife. Someone had to sign some papers that they are guarantees. But 
it's not the real price. I am ready to pick up some papers and to show it to you to the to the city administration. And one thing again, one thing I want to know: when I came to the city administration to collect to collect my uh, free apartment, nobody was looking at me like I was a parasite. Uh, people were talking to me very friendly, very helpful. Oh yes, of course, yes, of course. You got a situation? Yes, go, get, take it, take it. Because sometimes you have the right to get something. You, you, uh, you have the right from your employer. You come to to use this right, and they look at you like you are enemy of the state, enemy of them. Yes, like they let you know by some. Mm -hmm. face expression that what are you doing here you are miserable mm -hmm. why do you ask it you could you don't have uh, conscious yeah but when i was collecting my free apartment everybody was so helpful yes you are entitled to this yes this i remember this very nice well you want to go in we can do this uh, no 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 we no yes. we can let's let's do it tomorrow yes because i i don't have a lot of a lot of battery left but yes. thank you very much andre yes awesome as usual yes. thank you yes yes